Niger Delta Refinery was the first private refinery in Nigeria to receive an operating license by the federal government and has the sole right to sell surplus diesel fuel to local markets. The company, after expansion, will be refining additional 10,000 barrels of its products such as diesel, marine diesel, dual-purpose kerosene, high pore fuel oil, and naphtha. At a recent visit to the site, the crew underwent safety lectures in line with global best practice and dressed properly before the operations manager, Femi Polanyo, took us on a tour of the modern and automated refinery. Aviation fuel for planes and the rest of it is one of the products from the refinery. So uh, this is a loadout gantry where products will be dispensed into trucks after metering. If we go closer, you see something like, uh, like a U, and that's a meter. So when trucks come, they position, stay, and the, somebody will be on top of the platform at the deck there. You lift the loadout arm and drop it inside the truck to dispense the, the product. So this is loadout country for ND refinery. Because of the refinery expansion, we had to expand the capacity to load out products with multiple products, multiple trucks at the same time, such that we can evacuate 11 trucks within 45 minutes. So this is the loadout island. We have um, five islands. And with each island, there's a possibility of loading different products. Remember, the, the product from the refinery will be petrol PMS. Uh, there will be jet fuel, we call it DPK. So if you see DPK, uh, that's jet fuel. Uh, there will be AGO, which is diesel. There will be marine diesel, there will be heavy fuel oil. So all those five products can be loaded from this, from this island, from this uh, station here. Uh, like I said, there are five islands, and on each island you can load two trucks simultaneously. One on the right, one on the left. And the operator stays on the platform to use the loadout arm into the truck and then dispense uh, product appropriately. So our plan is to be able to evacuate 10 trucks concurrently from here within one hour. Um, and then the old island will still serve the purpose of diesel, diesel evacuation. And the appropriate safety devices, uh, we have shutdown for emergency shutdown buttons in case of maybe a truck is, uh, is spilling over and you want to stop the, the pumps, you press the emergency shutdown button. And in case of fire anywhere, you also press the button. Uh, we have um, uh, the loot system in case of fire to sprinkle around, around the truck. These are the product tanks you could see. There are three DPK tanks. Remember, DPK is jet fuel. So there are three DPK tanks. Each of the tanks is 1.5 million liters. Um, then we have, for other products, the ones with aluminum covering. It's where we have heavy foil oil. So that's insulation. We insulate it because uh, that product has to stay at a particular temperature. Otherwise, it will to solidify in piping or in the storage tank. So, We've had to insulate it. Uh, two of them is for heavy foil oil. This one on the right hand side is, uh, that is also insulated is for marine diesel. Uh, then, not of it, we have diesel tank. Each of these tanks are 10,000 barrels capacity or 1.5 million liters capacity. Because of the refinery administrative building here, we need to provide what they call bollards so that when trucks are coming to load products, there's no chance that they can run into the building. So these bullets will be barriers. Uh, there will be uh, steel pipes, very strong steel pipes, just like a barrier for, to prevent any collision or any diversion of a truck towards this area. So a contractor is doing it. They've casted the base. Um, when it chaos, they will then install a pipe, a piece of pipe, a thick wall pipe, and then connect it to some other pipe to make sure it's a barrier from people or trucks uh, driving this way. It's all part of safety measures, standard industry practice as well, because um, we place premium to safety and indeed we want to look good because ultimately it's part of the getting certification from ISO. Due to high volatility of the product, Niger Delta Refinery have put measures in place to combat fire outbreak. So monitor and hydrant, um, because of the intrinsic hazard in, a, in an operation like this. You could have fire anytime. So 
um, we've had to adopt in industry practice, international best practice, to provide this monitor and hydrant in case of fire. In case of fire, such so that you can uh, eject out water from here at very high flow rate to fight such such fire. So we have a number of them. This is one. There's another one down there. So wherever you have fire, you can reach out to it. And the reach of this, this is expected. This particular one is expected to throw as far as 100 meters. In case of fire, you can throw 100 meters away from here. We have a number of contractors here. That's why you see different coveralls. These are all Nigerian contractors employing Nigerians and most of the workers are actually from the community. They've had the opportunity to work here, earn livelihood and also acquire skills. We've had to buy and install new generators to increase our generating, power generating capacity. So there it's um, capacity to generate up to 2 megawatts of electricity. There are three generators, again, different capacity, and the principle is to provide sufficient robustness in terms of power generation. Uh, our load in the plant, in the refinery, is less than their capacity, but we've provided the, the capacity to ensure reliable power all year round, because we can't afford a blink in power. So this, this has been fully installed, commissioned, and it has been integrated with the existing, with the older generators. We have a very young workforce. They are very, very talented. They are very, very devoted, very committed, loyal, and they are very hardworking. Um, I couldn't say anything less about how we uh, pride our workforce. We've been in production now for 14 years, and we have built for ourselves, a very, very nice workforce, uh, essentially Nigerians, in fact, wholesomely Nigerians, essentially 100% Nigerians. 